Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, O, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, O, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What's up, Sister Firesign? What's up, baby? Welcome to the Mocha Tarot Channel. <laughs> this is your first time viewing. Hey, Boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time viewing. Thank you for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. This lady, she, I think she likes them or whatnot. <laughs> so, keep them going. Thank you for the love and support in the comments. I appreciate all of it. Um, This is Bulo, Bulo, Saggies. Because, you know, when I meditated on y'all energy, kind of like Aries, Aries felt how fiery. Y'all feel fiery, but it's like, what the fuck do I say? It's, it's like, oh yeah, for the newbies, I cuss. Just a little, a lot. You know, it just depends on what the hell these cards say and to be what I feel, okay? Um, but I feel a sense of passion, but confusion. Or like anxiety because I feel like intuitively y'all know something's coming or that you got to do something. But, and there's so much passion. I even feel love behind it. But it's just stagnancy. Like one day you're going to do it. The next day you like fuck that shit. Even though it's something that you're very passionate about that you hold it close to your heart. Like whatever it is. Whether that be um, starting an opportunity because I'm hearing investment. Uh, for some of y'all, y'all gonna be musicians. For some of y'all, y'all are writers. For some of y'all, it's about leaving that damn job that you don't like anyway, okay, to go pursue a dream that you know is gonna bring you big bucks, but you stuck because that's what you didn't got used to, so you know you gotta make a decision, you know you're passionate about the other decision, but you like, no, nah, I'm used to it, I say. And then you get there, and you like, man, fuck it, this why I'm gonna leave right now, like, Make a decision, Saggy. This this confusion energy, this like not speaking about the things that you're passionate about that you hold to your chest, it's not cool, okay? So with that being said, we're going to get into these cards now. This is for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus and cross watchers of Sagittarius from the 1st to the 15th of July. Mocha looks a little raggedy today because it's laundry day. Every weekend is laundry weekend, okay? Because, you know, certain pairs of my drawers I like or whatnot. How about that? Okay, so, Spirit, please send me the messages from the first and the fifteenth for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Cross Watchers. So, go that damn decision. Decision, decisions, decisions. What do I do? Alright. First of the fifteenth. Sagittarius. How do they feel? What can I expect? Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, some of y'all are making a decision regarding your money, your finances, possibly with someone who you have a child with, or someone maybe who you're going into business with. Some of y'all don't know if y'all want to go into business with somebody who possibly already has a little bit more money than you. Because maybe some of y'all are starting just like just newly into something or into a craft. Maybe you've been working on it. For about the last three months and years. Whoa. Right. Just like Aries, y'all come through with all the fire, but y'all got a lot of fire in earth. Right? Some of y'all, just as Aries, balance fire signs. Balance. I believe I was on Leo and asked about balance too. Balance fire signs. That's what these shifts for us are about, okay? Okay, Saggies, off the rip, some of y'all could be getting married or possibly engaged to a Taurus. Some of y'all is a divorce, but for those who is marriage for the month of July, congratulations, 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 congratulations. Okay, um, also, some of y'all are juggling making a decision about taking a leap of faith towards a soulmate relationship. For some of y'all, it's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For most of y'all, it's Leo. Um, some of y'all are juggling because you know that if you take this leap of faith towards their soulmate, your money might be affected or you feel like your money might be affected. For some of y'all, it's taking a leap of faith possibly away from someone who you've been with for a while that you have children with to move towards a soulmate that I feel like you all that you also have children with. Strong emphasis on a Taurus, a Virgo, a Aries, and a Pisces. Um, for some of y'all, 
Y'all yeah, been working on just getting yourself together for the month of July. Uh, I, I see that most of y'all, whatever you've been working on for the last three months, three weeks, okay, you're actually going to see that flourish in the month of July, okay? Some of y'all who've been working on a new relationship with the earth sign who you know is your soulmate, okay? Y'all going to be working on renewing the passion in that relationship from the 1st of July because I feel like somebody has an issue with juggling finances and love. Um, even though you and this person know that there's, that y'all are soulmates, like there may be passion, like there may be passionate sex, okay, right now I feel however you want to, or you or this other person wants to move forward, especially if you're dealing with a Taurus, this person wants commitment, you know, this person wants marriage, you may even want this too, Sadie, I feel like some of y'all are not communicating, but you want this as well, this may be someone who you have children with, but some of y'all are having to possibly juggle something from your past, okay, juggle something from your past, that could possibly make you have to shit out some money. For some of y'all, it's definitely going to uh, involve an institution, some type of court of somehow, of some way. But some of y'all are going to be offered something very grand, okay, possibly from a soulmate in the month of July. For some of y'all, this person is another Aries, you know, Sash, like yourself, okay, because I do see the food bar here. Some of y'all are making a decision to, to take a leap of faith towards the Aries who you know is your soulmate. You possibly, y'all possibly had some turbulent waters in the past. Maybe y'all had a difference in opinion, but I feel like balance is going to be restored to that situation and it's going to bring abundance, okay? And maybe for some of y'all, y'all may actually decide to go into business with this person, create with this person. But some of y'all, y'all are very fertile, use condoms. Um, because I do see <laughs> babies are in the building, they can show their faces for the month of July, or the conception of them being pregnant can, can, can definitely be some news that some of y'all are going to be getting as well for the month of July. Congratulations to y'all too. Mocha love the kids, okay? Let's get it. Spirit, what is this, two of pentacles? What is Sagittarius? Yeah, some of y'all are possibly, or you are, or this could be outside your energy, especially... If you're dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius, some of y'all are going to be sneaking away from a Gemini Libra Aquarius to take a leap of faith, yeah, with the soulmate, possibly towards a Gemini, okay? But some of y'all are going to take a leap of faith with the Gemini that you possibly reconcile with within the month of June, okay? Who you know is your soulmate, that's your twin flame, this is my lover, okay? For some of y'all, yeah. Some of y'all are going to bring balance to a soulmate relationship from the past, okay? Maybe if there was any type of deceptive uh, behavior in the past, some of y'all are going to move forward towards the turbulence and make a decision because I feel like this is someone who you view as deceptive, okay? For some of y'all, y'all actually possibly have a soulmate relationship, but some of y'all are married to possibly a Capricorn, okay? And with this person... Is there a lot of abundance? However, there's also a lot of toxicity in that relationship. And some of y'all are just like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Because I know I got a soulmate union where I need to be. Some of y'all are going to be working on things. If you started a new job, whatever it is that you're trying to create, you're just going to be working on that in the month of July. And I do see it's going to bring you much, much, much prosperity. As well as a renewed passion towards things. Once you get those things in your life that's balanced out, that you go from a knight to a king here. Okay? But you balance. Balance those things out. You can balance out love and work. It's possible. Okay? For so some of y'all, y'all going to balance a possibly a soulmate relationship that you had with someone you have children with in the past that you felt was very toxic. Or maybe you feel like this person is only about money. But for some of y'all, this is your soulmate. I feel like this person has also been working on themselves as well. And they're also wanting, they're just doing this person I see is also going to be flourishing um, for the month of July. Yeah, some of y'all are working to repair a three-party uh, situation or relationship in the past where there was a three-party um, situation possibly between the Earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and the Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, some of y'all are working for repairing a family situation. So I feel like you have definitely have children with this person, and that's why y'all are uh, repairing the relationship, okay? But some of y'all definitely, y'all want to uh, kind of, sorry. Y'all want to kind of offer a beginning 
new beginning, possibly a move forward. You offer a good material beginning or some type of foundation with someone who you have children with, possibly a Leo, a Taurus, an Aries, a Virgo. Um, but they in the building, okay? But I do see that Sagi, a lot of y'all are having strength in the situation, okay? And the divine is really encouraging you that you can definitely create something new with this person and get past the hurdles and where you've been in the passionate way. You just have to move forward and take action and make the decision. You definitely have children with this person. For some of y'all, what is influencing the passion in the relationship and wanting to move forward and fix the shit for the, for the whole everybody and bring balance towards the situation is the children. For some of you, um, I feel like maybe um, in the past there was possibly a three-party situation involving children. And some of y'all are going to be going toward the institution, the higher field uh, second. So some of y'all may actually make y'all first move through an institution or this could be the other person towards you. Okay, but Sagis, I see that y'all standing king power, queen power. Y'all standing in your power. Okay, so there's nothing stopping you from fixing the situation if you actually want to bring balance to it, okay? Clarify that King of Wands. Yeah, definitely. You're going into a new cycle, okay? So all of the old, you're ending the old, okay, to walk into a new. For some of y'all, this is even family. This is jobs. This is love. This is all type of situations having to do with the nouns, okay? People, places, things, whatever, what have you, okay? Clarify this hierophant card for my Sagittarius. Any balance bringer. Yep. Taking the leap of faith. You taking the leap of faith, Sagi, will balance things out. I don't want you guys to be in a conflict and the fact that the, I look at this much when I read. You see how the food court is facing like well, on my end, laying it on my end. It's going backwards. It's, it's, it's looking backwards, okay? Some of y'all have to balance a, a, balance a relationship or a situation from the past, and it's going to require a leap of faith, Sag, okay? I do see some of y'all are going to go make that rounded, okay, offer. I do see for some of y'all, y'all could be receiving this from a Virgo or a water sign who wants to start a new, who you have children with, and actually give you this page of love, okay? I want to give you this page. Now, it's starting out, this could be you wanting to offer this to someone, Sag, but communication definitely needs to happen, okay? And the first move has to be made. Cross those turbulent waters. When in the midst of deep waters, just be as the water and like as the eye of the storm and just flow with it, okay? Because, Sag, you are the magician. You can turn this situation around. You can definitely turn the situation around, Sag. You can turn it around if you want to. Clarify this magician call for my babies. Saggy babies. Yeah, deaf. So in order to turn the situation around, you have to transform. You have to walk away from what was in any type of relationship. You see the king? I hate this lighting. You see the king and the queen down here with the baby? What you once knew, Sag, to be is dead. Okay? A transformation has happened either on your end or this person's end. And unless you make that move, you don't know what you're going to get. Like Boris, okay? So I'm gonna need y'all to, you know, extend that love that you want to extend because, because I feel like some of y'all want to extend love, and for some of y'all, y'all being stalked by an air signs, you're not even Aquarius, okay? Could be stalking yourself for a water sign to check the check, but for some of y'all, this could be you stalking another person who you want to give love to, possibly an air sign or a water sign. But talk, sad, you don't stalk because. Whatever you want to materialize, the Ace of Pentacles, whatever you wanting to materialize as above, so below, you a transmutable energy. So whatever you wanting to materialize, Saggy, you can have whatever you like if you just simply drop the burdens. Accept the transformation and go turn shit around. You the magician. What you ain't on? It's your world, literally. And I think it's from my name. This video, it's your world if only you make the decision. Make it already. Like, what's tea? What's up? Don't be confused. Don't sit still. If you love someone, this is the This is what people don't fail to realize. Love is not perfect. Love is not always going to go how you want it to go. Sometimes you have to, you know what I'm saying? You, gotta, you don't appreciate what you have until it's gone. For some of y'all, y'all could have been actually trying to make everyone that you deal with this person or vice versa. 
Okay, and that's something that y'all gonna have to really talk about it in order to balance things out because you and this person know that this is a soulmate union. But some of y'all is definitely a toys, but you and this other person knows this. So y'all gonna have to get over that paper. No love is perfect love. In order if, if if a happy home is heaven, you better know you gotta go through some hell to get to it. Okay? And ironically I said that it's fourteen forty four. Four four four, I'm pretty sure y'all been seeing that thing a lot. Some of y'all that meant something. I love y'all, babies. That's what I have from the 1st to the 15th of July. Hit me up for a personal reading and I can go uh, into a more extensive explanation of your particular circumstance. But shake that confusion and use that passion and move on in. Go fix shit. Looks like the other person's going to be receptive, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, an earth sign, a Gemini. Okay? Just make the move. And comment. Let me know what's tea. Because this energy was so hard for me to talk at first. I had to do like two takes of y'all. Like, I, <laughs> I love y'all, Sag. Until mid-month. And hopefully I don't come to y'all on laundry day. I don't like looking at you like this. <laughs> Bye, babies.